Thank you so much for joining me tonight and we are going to get started on this wreath. Um, I will show you in a little bit how we do um, put the back on this wreath because I do get a lot of questions on how do you put the, the felt on the back of your wreath. So let me turn this around. So what we're going to do first, and I don't want to knock over my lamp here. That would be bad. Um, let's work on the center. We're going to do this. Look, we're going to do a smaller version of this tonight. Um, and the main reason is I want to be able to show you how to do a wreath in one, with one roll of poly burlap. So I'm going to get out this green moss. I showed you not the last video, but the video before if you're on YouTube right now and you're watching me. Um, this is, gets really messy, so be prepared for that. Um, as you can see, I've already cut out some centers, and that is because I am making a lot of these wreaths right now with these centers. So I'm going to use a 5-inch foam ball for this one. Um, again, if you're on Facebook right now, I am not seeing the comments for some reason, but I will go back through and try to answer them. So let's just take a five inch, let's see, let's make sure I'm right. No, this is like a four inch diameter ball. So maybe four and a half. So I wanna make sure I have enough. So I'm gonna just kinda, I'm gonna make sure I'm probably cutting a little too much, but I'd rather have a little too much than not enough, okay? So that should be enough to go over the whole sphere of my ball. Now I haven't done this yet, so we will see if this works. So I'm gonna put this away and let's just cut this out and then try to um, see if this will work, okay? Um, I used a ready-made sensor for the last one I did on a 10 inch and I'm gonna show you how I did that on the 10 inch too. Um, because I wanted to, I wanted a bigger surface to cover. And if you get a bigger styrofoam um, surface, you could just make your own. But since I didn't have any, I just thought, well, I'll just use the um, ready-made center there. Okay. So that, there you go. That is about a little bit over six inches in diameter. So I'm going to fold this back up and put it back in my bag. And somebody told me, um, a lot of you told me you can get this at Walmart, um, even um, TJ Maxx, and um, I found this at Hobby Lobby as well. As you can see, it makes a nice mess for you. And, oops, there went my phone case. Um, this is the mesh, or this is the moss, and I spray painted it brown. Now, it will take you many coats of brown to get that done. So, let's move over the glue gun. So, we're going to get this started, and I'm just going to put some glue on this to get this started. So, we're going to put it in the middle here, okay? So, I'm going to just put a little bit of glue and I need to grab my pens. I didn't get my pens out here. So I was just using these little stick or little like, you know, fabric pens basically. All right, because I want, I don't want it to show. So I'm going to, you could use those, you could use, you know, if you're gonna spray paint it, which I'm going to spray paint, you could even use the um, floral pens. So I'm gonna go the other side and put a little bit of glue. So since that went over it, I'm just gonna use a floral pen. See how I did that? I'm gonna to go to this side. So I did the, the two opposite sides. Again, I haven't done this yet with the sphere, I guess is what you would call it. And if you can get your moss to go over the edge, then just take a floral pen. And be careful, because the, the glue will come through a little bit and will send your fingers a message, I promise. So protect those fingers. But I show you this one first because I want it all to dry. And I also want to see if this is gonna work. Again, this is trial and error. <laughs> 
So let's do this side. Now we did one, two, three, four. Now we're gonna do one, two, three, four. So one, two. That's a wonky one. Let's see here. <laughs> it's kind of like that. Okay, so let's do this. Alrighty. Okay, so at one point you're gonna kind of, at this point you're gonna kind of um, fold over some pieces. But here's the thing. It seems like the, the moss covered, or they're not really moss when you buy them. Um, they look like hay, really, um, that's spray painted. They're not always in stock. So I wanted to come up with a way to kind of combat that issue and do them on my own. So as you can see, you're just gonna, gonna shape it. All right, so what I would do is I would spray paint that brown dark brown. I mean, you can keep it green. You don't have to spray paint it. I did try to spray paint um, one of these orange and the green was just too powerful and it just did not, it didn't look good. So I don't think I would recommend a lighter color. I, you could even do a black, a gray, a charcoal gray, um, but I would definitely go darker, not lighter. So there you go. So how do we, how would we attach that? Well, we would just take um, take a wire right here and I just, I'm just going to take two of my floral pens just down there and then I just take a little bit. I always have scrap felt laying around because um, it's what I cover the back of my wreaths with. Um, it just is a nice finished look and I will show you guys how to do that too. See, I don't even make it that that's probably gonna make somebody crazy watching me watching me do this and say that's not a perfect square I'm sorry <laughs> I'm trying to be a, be in a hurry here and then I would just take some pens with heads on it I don't think that the floral pens because they're not that sharp would work here and this is just the way I do all of these sorts of um, centers is that because we do use glue, I like to add a little bit more security to it. So there is your middle. So we're gonna set that aside. Um, for this particular wreath, I would definitely spray paint this and I put it in a box and I spray paint it several times. My plan is to make a whole bunch of these before winter sets in here in Michigan because once winter sets in, it's kind of hard to spray paint and things to dry. So let's get this all cleaned up. So I don't know why I can't see your comments on Facebook. I apologize. This happened to me the other day when I made the pumpkin. If you haven't checked out the pumpkin wreath, you're going to want to check out the pumpkin wreath. So um, again, let me clean up this out of the way. I like to take a lint roller and just clean it all up because this does leave quite a bit of residue. Okay, so what are we going to do tonight? You're gonna take, we're gonna take one roll of yellow 10 inch poly burlap and um, you're gonna cut this one. I believe we're gonna use about 24 pieces. I'll know at the end for sure how many. So you're gonna cut um, your pieces by 10 inches. This is a 10 inch roll. And what you're gonna do is you're going to make the simple flower petal, okay? And you're gonna take a four inch zip tie have it handy here and we're going to gather it right there and then I'm going to take a zip tie and I'm going to zip tie that together. Should have brought my glasses down here. I think I tell you guys that every single video I do. <laughs> so we're going to meet in the middle and we're just going to gather. You guys have seen me do this petal so many times. So we're just going to make a twist on this and make it a little different. Now, if you don't have forage zip ties, um, you could use pipe cleaners to do this and just twist it, the pipe cleaner according to the color of poly burlap um, that you're using. So that's another thing you could use. Okay, 
So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take a eight inch uh, wire wreath frame. I get these from consumercrafts.com. Um, I think these are maybe $1.17 a piece. Literally, you can't go wrong with that, guys. And with shipping costs that have skyrocketed, you really gotta save money when you're making wreaths and shipping them and um, just you gotta do it economically that these days. So what are we gonna do? We're going to put a piece of plastic canvas. This is just the five mesh. It's the bigger square it is what's called the five mesh. I just cut a little circle and I attached it to my wreath frame. You've seen me do this so many times in so many videos. So what are we gonna do with the petal now? Well, I'm gonna take this petal and I'm going to fold it over all right, see that? I'm gonna flip it over and I'm just gonna pull it. All right, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pull it and it's gonna make a petal. That's it. I'm gonna try to have this zip tie. If you can see, the zip tie isn't on top. Now, when I made the original wreath, some of the zip ties are more visible, but it's like everything you do, it's just a trial and error. Error. So that's the back of it. And the reason why I like the poly burlap is because it's so, it just keeps its shape. So I'm just gonna put one right here. I'm gonna take a little four inch zip tie and at the cross bracket and this bar, I'm just gonna connect one right here. That's it. You can use the bigger ones and I might get out the bigger ones here in a moment. But if I can save a little bit of money and use these, I will. They're a little bit more trickier to do because they're smaller. All right, there we go. But I do get, I don't know if you guys have Ollie's. Who has Ollie's? It's like a discount place. And they sell the four inch zip ties for like 99 cents for a hundred. So you just like a penny a zip tie, you know? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep doing that all the way around. We're gonna put two, I believe, in the middle and one here. So let's just do it again. You're just gonna bend it over, okay? So that's gonna be the back because it's already um, facing towards the back. I'm gonna flip this over and you're just gonna pull it. So if you're watching this on YouTube or you're watching on Facebook, let me know where you're watching from. I always like to, I really like to see when people are watching from different countries too. I think that's really cool. All right, so let's get some zip ties here. So we're gonna put, I might just get the zip, the eight inch, cause it's just a little bit easier, <laughs> let's be honest. All right. And we might end up putting an extra, we might um, cut some more of these and see. I think I'm gonna do two in the middle here, but I don't know. Let's see what it looks like here in a moment. You know what, let's go to this eight inch. I was trying, I'm not gonna struggle with it. I'm not gonna be on the struggle bus here with those little zip ties. <laughs> So, okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put another one there. So that means we're gonna cut some more. We'll need at least four more pieces of poly for this. So is everybody, are you, if you are watching this, this is what, August the 20th, school hasn't started here in Michigan yet. Has school started for you where you are? Yep, so we're gonna put three petals on the inside of the bracket and then one petal on the bracket um, itself. So we will definitely need, you'll need one roll of um, 10 inch poly and you don't have to use yellow, you can use whatever color you want.
hate it when my comments, when I can't see your comments when I'm working. I do try to get to busy and get things done here for you. But I like to see you too. So we're only gonna do two layers of petals too. So I'm gonna move my camera or my, <sighs> my lamp is in my way a little bit. So let me just take these off. And um, these are my Titan tool or wire cutters. I get them. We'll try to leave you guys the link as well in the description box for those. Let's see, was that? All righty. So right here you can see this one is starting to fray. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make that the back. And I'm just gonna kinda, just kinda turn it in a little bit. I'm just gonna turn it in. I want to make sure that they're all about the same. Okay, so this would be the third one. I just like the, the feel of Polly. Now listen, I do get a lot of messages and Polly Burlap and Deco Mesh are two different um, they're just very different. So if I'm showing you a wreath in, see, this is kind of getting out of the frame here. If I'm showing you a wreath in poly burlap, you know, your, your, your best, your best, um, how should I say it? Your best efforts are going to be in poly burlap for that particular flower. Now you can use deco mesh for some of them, but like if you were to use deco mesh for this, you're just gonna use a lot more and it may not, the petal may not look quite the same. So know that if you're doing just like a basic sunflower wreath, you really should go watch my friend, um, Michelle of A Noble Touch Crafts on YouTube. She has by far, she is like the pioneer of the deco mesh flower wreath. I don't. I, she was the one that has this certain flip and she shows you how to do it. And she's the one that, that did that years ago and has published tutorials on it and um, on blog sites like me. And um, that's who you need to watch for your deco mesh. I mean, she just is really a phenomenal um, flower wreath designer. So... Um, that's what I would recommend. Now, if you're doing like a like the basic sunflower um, wreath, you know, deco mesh just doesn't lay the same way as this. This just has a different feel to it. Unfortunately, poly burlap is basically only found at like online mar um, retailers. Um, and I say um way too much, and I do apologize for that. Uh, I was about ready to say it again. My speech coach in college would be getting on to me right now if she was watching. So, <laughs> you know, but college was a very long time ago. <laughs> Let's be honest. And so, um, so, so I really recommend if, if I'm, if I'm using poly burlap, take the time. If you've got the money to order online, get some poly burlap and try it. I really like the feel for this for the outdoors. I just feel like it's um, just a really nice material to work with. Now, if you talk to my friend Michelle, she's like, I'm not messing with poly burlap. She just doesn't care for it. So everybody has their own thing and that's okay. So this is gonna be a smaller wreath. This will probably be about a 20, 20 inch wreath once we get the uh, let's see the green leaves on it. So, let's see here. 
you're just gonna kind of pull that end. So sometimes, even though I did use a wood burner here, there is some fraying because you're gonna just be manipulating this, this poly. And poly deco mesh is not the same thing as poly burlap. Two separate things. So let me know in the comments if you would like a quick like live or video on YouTube showing the difference in the um, products that I show you how to use. So, you know, and you might do this and say, oh, this I, I like to do it this way better. Show me how you did it or, you know, share it in Wreath Creators and more. See, I keep pushing it out of the... the angle and I apologize for that let's see okay so one more and then that's our outer petal and I really kind of like the look of this my kitchen remodel is almost done so I need to paint my kitchen now um, the backsplash isn't totally done but I think it's gonna be another month or so before that's totally done but Make sure you're following me on Instagram. Who's on Instagram? Just look up Julie's Wreath Boutique. I'll leave the link for my Instagram account. And that's where I do a lot of stories. So, okay, so here we go. This is the first um, layer of petals, okay? So this right now, as, as this stands, that's 17 inches, but we're gonna do, oh, we're gonna do leaves. So I'm thinking, you're looking at a 20 inch wreath here. So what I'm going to do so that we can see better here is I'm going to take one of these tools. I don't know that, you know, I don't know if they, I shared how to buy these cutters and I love them and these are an old pair. Um, so I don't even know if you can even buy them anymore. I think this was one of those products as seen on TV. So I'm just going to cut these. If I can find a link for something comparable to this, I will leave you guys a link. And you gotta be really careful. Oops. Because that is really sharp. So I can cut two here. But I'm just cutting these so that you, I can show you what I'm gonna do next and so that you can see. You don't necessarily have to cut these off, but, um, for teaching purposes, I think it will be easier for you to see. And that feels a little, that was one of those little ones. So I'm gonna add another zip tie because it just feels like it's just a little looser. You know how sometimes you put on a zip tie and it's just not um, strong enough? Yeah, that would be that one. Okay, all right, so let's get rid of all this mess again. Ugh. I need a vacuum in my craft room. All right, so what's the next step? Well, let's see, we are definitely gonna need some more of these, so I'll have to show you how I cut this. So we're going to make the same petal, and let's see here. Pick whatever that is out. And I wanna see how big, so we wanna do it, okay. So because we want to cover the whole space, I'm going to just, and this is what I did for the 10 inch. I put, I didn't even put the zip ties on any more of the wires, okay? So what I did is I just took a, I probably, I did a smaller one. Oh no, I did the bigger ones, the last one, sorry. Um, and we are just going to fill these until we fill this whole circle up. And then um, I'm gonna add some leaves too. So the important thing is that you're going to cover the full circumference there. Okay. I keep pushing it. You're over here. I'm sorry. 
I keep pushing it away. You know why? Because most videos I'm working um, more farther away from myself. So again, I apologize. So this is a really good roll of poly burlap I used too. It's nice and stiff. Sometimes you get them and they're just not, just not quite great. You know, it just kind of depends. Sometimes, you know, you're like, I just spent $8.25 on a roll and it's not doing what I want it to do. See what I'm doing? What is your favorite? Tell me in the comments section. What is your favorite? Is it deco mesh? Is it poly burlap? Is it fabric mesh? Um, I have been coming a fan, as you can tell, because you've seen um, a lot of lives recently. I do like the fabric mesh, guys. I'm becoming, I really just like the softness of it and the way it looks. I just think it's so pretty. Okay. So we're gonna need probably four more pieces. And that's, I think that's what I told you I thought. Four more pieces would probably do the job. So let's cut four more pieces. And if you haven't seen, let's see, me cut poly burlap, you're, you'll get to see. All right, where did I put my, there it is. Just gonna cut four pieces here. And it's very important to wear a mask when you do this. I already have, um, I don't wanna wear a mask and talk to you at the same time, but wear a mask, use a, uh, a little ventilation fan. Okay. So I believe that was I think that was 24 pieces that I had cut originally. So you're looking at about 28. Let's make one more piece just for safe measure here. All right. I'm gonna turn off my wood burner. That's important. Don't leave it on. And by the way, this is just a kitchen glass cutting board that I use and I can if I can remember, I am bad. If I don't remember, just leave it in the comments for me, guys, and say, where's that link? <laughs> I feel like when I get done showing a video, I kind of feel like my, my brain is a little fried, and I'm just like, okay, I've just talked for 45 minutes, and I'm just tired. I'm kind of, I'm just kind of uh, verbally worn out, I guess you would say. So we're gonna, if you're just joining me, you're going to use one roll of 10 inch poly burlap and you're just going to use a zip tie in the middle there you're going to make a petal you're going to just gather it up and if i had my glasses on i could see better but i don't <laughs> i miss that zip tie okay I think four is all we're gonna need, but we're gonna do five just to make sure. All right, last one. See, that doesn't take long, does it? So you could really get everything prepped and ready to go. It doesn't take that long to do. And, and you know, if you wanted to do a third layer of these petals, then do a third layer. Uh, you, you know, if you try it with the deco mesh, you know, send me a picture, uh, share it in my group. I wanna see it, okay? So, alrighty. So 
if you look here, I'm just going around the canvas, okay? It's not even on the wire frame. It's just around the canvas. I always say I wish I could have music on, but then you'd have copyright issues. <laughs> I could just have, you know, I do play the piano. I could play, record myself playing the piano and have it in the background, but uh, I don't think I'll go to that, to that length. <laughs> I've played the piano since I was a little girl. Okay, so we're going to do at least two more here. like I thought. Okay, one more. And these are kind of getting in the way, so let me cut a few of these off. They kind of like to bunch up here. So let's just use that. All right, so yep, one more should be enough. And then um, we'll put our leaves on. Now, I normally put the leaves, I usually put what, however many brackets. Why can't I find, I can't see anything right now. Um, I usually put the brackets, the number of brackets, the crossbars is usually what I do for leaves, but I think tonight I'm going to, um, I just like an odd number of leaves. So I'm gonna try putting five, even though I don't have five brackets or crossbars, I should call them, I'm going across. We're just gonna kind of space them out. All right, so there you go, guys. That's on an eight inch form. I did a smaller version because again, I wanted, if you do it on the bigger form, you're gonna need a little bit more than one roll. If you do it on a 10 inch, so this is, one roll will be enough for an eight inch. So at this point, I would just run this through here. Now I'm going to spray paint this brown. So I'm gonna just take my wire and run it through, find a hole. That's what I like about the, can the canvas. There's it's just a grid, you know, and goes through wherever it finds a spot. And there you go, come on. All right, there you go, it got through. So I'm gonna spray paint this brown unless you guys tell me, you know, the bad thing about the moss, it does get in the poly. And, you know, we're just gonna twist it I won't do too much because I'm gonna take that off and spray it. All right, so there you go. So that is what the round sphere covered in moss would look like. I really think that's super cute. Now we know. Um, I can't wait to cover that in brown spray paint and see how that works. So at this point, we're gonna turn this over and I'm going to kind of space out in my mind friend of mine says, my mind's eye, we're just going to do the same pedal, but we're not going to, we're just going to do the pedal, and um, this is 10 inches. This is the olive green, and I wanted it because it has more of a fall feel to it. So, okay, so let's face if we did one there, two, three, four, five. So I think I need to do a little bit more over here. And we can move these around a little bit because I want to do five of these leaves. Okay, so let's do one here. Let's see, I think it needs to be closer. You're just gonna space it out because I'm not using these brackets, okay? And 
And again, if you have a question, leave it in the comments. I do my best to get back to you within a few days. Some days are just busier than others for me. Um, I did leave my Etsy link. Um, I made a pair of angel wings today for a dear family and um, that can be learned in my Christmas tree group. If you haven't purchased the Christmas tree tutorial and joined that group, there's lots of good extras in that group. If you were to buy just one of my tutorials, I would say get the Christmas tree tutorial. There's also, I did a year ago and asked Julie live where I kind of give business advice on how to start your business. Um, recently, I just hit over 6,000 sales on Etsy. Um, you know, how do you get found on Etsy and how do you name your business and what do you need to do? And I've been thinking about doing another one of those um, type of lives in my flower trio group so because a lot of things have changed in the last year so if you're a stay-at-home mom or maybe you're retired or just somebody who wants to make some extra money you know I do have a few tips people <laughs> I can tell you a few things what do you need to do on social media it's more than just making a pretty wreath okay so let's turn this over yeah I like the extra the extra leaves I just feel like it gives it just a little bit something extra here. So, um, yeah, I think that's super cute, guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Give me some hearts. I wish I could read your, hear, read your comments right now, but I can't. Um, I'm going to just show you really quickly right now how to put on one of the felt circles on the back. It's super, super simple. And... I just cut out, um, these are for my 10 inch wreath forms and I just cut them out. And I take my super sharp scissors here. I love these, they're like, I think they're the Busy Bee brand or something. Um, they were actually scrapbooking scissors I had probably 20 years ago. And I found them again and used them for doing stuff with wreaths now. So I'm gonna just show you Okay, so you just have these cut out. You just trace it with your wreath form. Okay, getting all the stuff out. And I just take 